Good morning, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are fine and enjoying your online lessons. So this is your Islamiyat lesson. And today, as you can see on the screen, that today's topic is Surah Al-Asr. Time through the ages. So this is the topic. And this topic is mentioned on your Islamiyat textbook. Page number is 8. And as well as we are going to do the written work today. Okay. So, first of all, take out your Islamia textbook and notebook as well as your pencil, eraser and sharpener. So, we can start today's task. As you know that, first of all, we are going to know that what are today's learning objectives. So, let's move on and see that what are these, what we are going to do in today's lesson. So, here you are. Today's learning objectives are there that you can see on the screen. Students will learn the important facts about Surah Al-Asr. Do you remember that before this Surah we have done Surah Al-Fatiha and we have learned so many so many logical or facts and points about that Surah. And same is the case with Surah Al-Asr that today we are going to learn so many important things and facts about this Surah, Surah Al-Asr. And second learning objective is reinforcement of the topic through the written work will be done yes after discussing all the main points and facts about surah al as what we are going to do is we are going to do the written work of this surah okay and we are going to do that work on islamiyat notebook so i really hope that you have taken it out and you are ready with your textbook and with your uh, islamiyat notebook and with your pencil eraser are you ready very good. So let's start a discussion about the important facts and points. Important facts about Surah Al-Asr. And in the bracket, it is written time through the ages. So let's see that what are some important points. Surah Al-Asr was revealed in Makkah and it consists of three ayahs. Ayahs mean verses. Okay, so it means that as I told you that there are some Makki Surahs and there are some Madni Surahs. Okay, so this Surah is which one? Yes, it was revealed in Makkah. So it is called Makki Surah and it consists of three ayahs. It means that this is the short Surah. But now you are going to learn that how much short is this? Okay, in the next point you are going to learn about it. Surah Al-Asr is the 103rd Surah of Holy Quran. Do you know that there are numbering of Surahs? For example, when we have done the task of Surah Al-Fatiha, we came to know that it is the very first Surah of Holy Quran. So, this Surah is not the first one. This Surah is, the number of this Surah is 103. Okay, and it is in the 30th para of Holy Quran, in the very last one. Okay. And look at the next one. It is the second shortest surah of Quran. As I told you that you are going to learn that, that which, how much short is this. So this is the second shortest surah of Holy Quran. Can you tell me that what is the, which is the uh, first uh, shortest surah of Holy Quran? Can you tell me? Yes, it is surah al qasr So, Surah Al-Asr is the second shortest surah of Holy Quran. And the very first shura, uh, shortest surah is Surah al qasr Just keep it in the mind. Okay. Look at the next one. Surah Al-Asr is Makki surah. Okay. Now there is a point that how can you tell that it is Makki or it is Matni? Number first thing is that, that it is written in Holy Quran that this surah is Makki and this surah is Matni. And the other thing is that why it is called Makki or Madni. The reason is this. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, lived in uh, two states, Makkah and Medina. And you know that Holy Quran was revealed on Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam verse by verse by Hazrat Jibra'il alayhi islam who brought all the verses from Allah the Almighty to Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, when he was in Makkah and the surahs which were revealed on that time, these are called Makki surahs, okay. And when he was in Medina and the surahs which were revealed on Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa by the grace of Allah the Almighty, so these are called Madni surahs. 
in case if anyone asks you that why the surahs are called makki and why these are called madni so you will be able to tell them okay look at the next one this surah is known as the summary of holy quran yes this is this surah is so important that some people say that it is the summary of holy quran yes it is because in this surah allah the almighty talks to us that about the people who are the believers of him okay or you can say followers fine so that's why this is called this surah is called the summary of holy quran because of those people who were the faithful one and who were the followers of allah the almighty look at the next point this surah tells us that only faithful and true followers of allah are the true beneficiaries yes it is true that you know that in the ages in the ages when people were not believing on islam there were so many people who were not believing and they just got the bad things from the world and from the akhira as well but this surah is just about the blessing and it is all about the people that who were very faithful and they were the listeners and followers of allah the almighty as all the messengers of allah the almighty and all the people who believed on them okay so this surah is all about them just keep it in, in the mind that surah al asr is all about the people that who were very faithful and trustworthy and they were true followers of allah the almighty and that's why allah the almighty has given them so many blessings in this world and after this world as well okay so look at the next point as i told you that it is all about the good people so here is, is this point Allah the Almighty has described the qualities of the faithful people in it. Yes, in this surah, Allah the Almighty talked about the people that how they were, how they were behaving, and how they were living, and how they were listening to Allah the Almighty, and as well as how they were calling other people to embrace Islam, okay, or to accept Islam as a religion. Fine. So this surah is all about them. that in this the qualities of those people who were the believer are told by allah the almighty and this is the shortest second uh, shortest surah of the holy quran just keep it in the mind as i told you the very first one is surah al qasr and this is surah al asr the qualities which are told by allah the almighty in this surah surah al asr are these okay just keep it in the mind and just focus what i'm telling you and also look on the your screen because all these things are written on your screen these qualities are number 1 is they have faith yes this is the very important one because in this surah allah the almighty called those people faithful one faithful mean that who were really a believer of allah the almighty and who never say no to allah the almighty okay so this much that was the level of their faith so they have faith the second one is they always do good deeds yes it means that they never did bad things and they always listened allah the almighty and whatever they were told by all the messengers and allah the almighty so they were doing that that's why they didn't do any bad thing and they didn't do any harm to the other people and they were very good to each other so this was the second point look at the third one they encourage each other to follow the right path this is the main point that whenever someone is going to do something bad and other people say that no do not do that because allah is saying you allah is watching you and you will be punished by him so please do not do that so these people were doing the same thing they were so good to each other they were doing so good deeds to each other that they were encouraging each other that do not do the bad thing and follow the right path as it is the path of the people who uh, allah the almighty has blessed look at the fourth point what was the fourth quality of those people they advise each other to be patient yes this is very important for example if you see something is going to be wrong or something is not fine allah the almighty says 
that always be patient everything would be fine fine so that's why those people who were uh, just having the bad times so the other people who were also having the bad times but they were so faithful to allah the almighty and they were so loving to allah the almighty that they were encouraging other people that please be patient everything would be fine so there is nothing to be worry because we are in the followers of allah the almighty and we are going to be blessed by the blessings of allah the almighty so there is no way to be worry about so that's why they were advising each other to be patient so these were the fourth qualities okay one more time i'm going to repeat these qualities so you can remember number one is they have faith second one is they always do good deeds and the third one is they encourage each other to follow the right path the fourth one is and the last one which is uh, just told in this surah surah al asr is they advise each other to be patient Okay, my dear students, I hope you have enjoyed listening the facts about it about Surah Al Asr. Now, this is your textbook, page number eight, and on this page, this surah is mentioned. Okay, and this is called Surah Al Asr, time through the ages. Now, come on, hurry up, open this page, page number eight, and we are going to learn. We are going to recite it first in Arabic. Then we will see that what is the translation of it. or what is the meaning of it is that clear now this is your page number 8 open it please so we can write down today's date and day so this is today's date and day on page number 8 of your islamia textbook you are going to write down first of all date and day so today is wednesday class work in the middle you will write then you will move towards writing the date and today is 5th may comma 2021 just keep it in the mind that initial letter of the word would be capital for example you can see on the screen wednesday's w would be capital then class works would be uh, c would be capital of class work then when you will write down date 5th may may's m would be capital and after writing the month name you will put a little comma there then you will write down that what years is going on it is 2021 Have you done it? I hope you have done it nicely. Have you? Great. Now we moving on. So this is Surah Al Asr. First of all, I am going to recite it one time. Then you will repeat it after me. Then we will move towards the translation of it. That we will see that what is the meaning of Surah Al Asr. Okay, and you will see that what the qualities as I told you are these there, and then you will learn this. Okay. So let's start. I am going to recite it first. Listen to me carefully, please. Surah Al Asr. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal Asr. In al insan la fi khusr. ارابک in the next time a'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim wal asr innal insana lafi khusr ولعصر ان الانسان 
لفی خسر الزین امن و عامل الصالحاتی یس یو آر رائٹ و عامل الصالحاتی و تو صوب الحق و تو صوب الحق و تو صوب الصبر اوکے ویری ویل ڈن ناؤ لک ایٹ دس ٹرانسلیشن آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ اٹ اوکے فار یو ان دا نیم آف اللہ موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ موسٹ مرسیفل Now there is the translation as you can see it is written in inverted commas okay so this is the translation so just look at it that what I am going to read then put your fingers on by time verily man is in loss except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience yes this is the translation as i told you in the translation allah the almighty talked about those people who are so faithful to him and who are the real followers and righteous people and who always advised each other to be patient and to be truth so that's why this is the surah al-asr in which allah the almighty told us the qualities of those people who were the great believer of allah fine so now moving on we are going to start the today's written work First of all, open your notebook, please. Come on, come on. So we can write down today's date and day on our notebook. So today, after opening the new page of Islamiyat notebook, just start writing today's date and day. As you can see that today is Wednesday and date is 5th May, 2021. And in the middle of the page, in the middle of the line, you are going to write down classwork. Classwork C would be capital. Is that clear? Are you writing nicely? Make sure that your uh, pencil is sharp. Okay. So again, I'm telling you it is Wednesday. Wednesday's W would be capital. Classwork C would be capital. And then we moving on, we will write down today's date. And today is 5th May, 2021. Have you done it nicely? Very good. Now, as you can see on the screen, as it is, we have to write down date and day. Then we will moving toward the topic. So after writing date and day, your page of Islamiyat notebook will look like that. Fine. So topic is Surah Al-Asr. You will write like this. Okay. Focus on the capital letters as well. Topic T would be capital and Surah's S would be capital. Al-Asr A would be capital. Then you will underline this topic by using a scale and by using a very nice color pencil. Have you done it? Again, I'm telling you after writing date and day, please write down today's topic on your Islamia notebook. And topic is Surah Al-Asr, as you can see on the screen. So there is only one question in this. We are going to write down the translation of Surah Al-Asr. Fine. So come on. After writing topic, just write down the question. Write down the translation of Surah Al-Asr. Come on, hurry up. Do not forget to use capital letters here. And full stop at the end of it. Again, I'm telling you, write down the translation of Surah Al-Asr. Have you written it? Have you? Well done. Now, answer is here. In answer, you will write down translation. Translation T would be capital. Moving on. This is the translation. And you can also see this translation from your Islamia textbook page number 8 as well. But for your easiness, easiness, I have written it here on the screen. So you can see. Okay. And you can write properly. So after writing topic, question. Now we are moving towards the answer. And answer is translation. After writing this word, translation, we are using the next line. By time, by time, by is B would be capital as we are starting the statement and translation. Then you will write down T capital of time as we are talking about the specific time told by Allah the Almighty in Surah Al-Asr. Okay. By time, a full stop here. Verily, man is in loss. Man is 
in laws then you will put a full stop here except for those except e, e would be capital as we are starting a new sentence here except for those who have believed and who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience yes you heard right and advised each other to patience here we are as finishing our translation of surah al-asr so we are going to put a full stop here and do not forget to put inverted commas around this translation as this is the translation of the verse we cannot change it as it is said by allah the almighty so we are putting inverted commas around the translation have you done it or are you doing okay i'm going to repeat it for you so you can complete it nicely so here is the answer you can see on the screen answer is by time by time full stop Verily, verily is V would be capital as we are starting a new sentence here. Verily, me man is in loss. Verily, man is in loss. Then you are going to put a full stop here. Except for those, except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds, done righteous deeds. Right here, spellings I'm going to uh, speak so you can write nicely. R I G H T E O U S. Right here. Deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience. To patience. Have you written it? Very well done. I hope you have done it nicely and do not forget to put inverted commas around the translation and do not do not forget to use the capital letters as you can see on the screen. Okay and always put a full stop when we are ending a statement or, or you can say that words or something. Okay one more time I am going to tell you that what is your today's task. This is your task. It is a written work which you are going to do on your Islamiyat notebook. Okay. So first of all what you have to do is you have to write down today's date and day on your Islamiyat notebook's new page. I hope you have done it. I am just repeating it for your easiness so you can check if you have done any mistakes so you can correct it. Okay. And also focus on the spellings as well. So while preparing the page we will see we will focusing on the writing date and day that what is today's date and day. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday's W would be capital. Okay have you done it? Now at the right side of the page in the corner at the top line you are going to write down today's date as uh, today's date and it is 5th May. May's M would be capital then you will put a comma here. 2021 then in the middle of the line you are going to write down classwork and classwork c would be capital have you done it great moving on towards the topic so today's topic is surah al-asr so you will write down this topic on your islamiyat notebook after writing date and day topic is surah al-asr and do not forget to put a little dash between al-asr okay as it is important to put it here surah al-asr now after that after writing the topic and underlining it nicely with a color pencil by using scale move on towards writing question and today we have only one question in which we are going to write down the translation of this surah which is today's topic and this is surah surah al-asr okay now we are moving towards the question write down the question Question is, write down the translation of Surah Al-Asr. I hope you have done it nicely by using capital letters and small letters as well. Answer is here, translation.
this is the answer you can see from the screen as i told you before you can also see from your textbook as well okay this is mentioned on your uh, textbook on page number eight as well so you can uh, write from there as well but i have written it here just for you so you can see and do the work nicely so the translation is by time verily man is in loss except for those who have believed and done who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience to patience i hope you have done so there are some difficult words as well i'm telling you the spelling so you can check okay check twice so this is verily a word is here i am telling you the spelling just check it please v e r i l y moving on there is a word righteous r i g h t e o u s r i g h t e o u s so this is the spelling of righteous okay and now the last one word patience i'm telling you the spellings please re check p a t i e n c e now this was the translation of surah al as one more time i'm going to read it for you please check it again by time verily man is in loss except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience so this was all about surah al asr and today's lesson okay and i really hope that you are going to learn it nicely okay it is the very short one so it will not take a very a long time of yours fine so just remember that you have to memorize this one in arabic as well as well as the translation okay and just keep me uh, remember me in your prayers take care of yourself Allah Hafiz have a good day inshallah